Hi, this is Dave from Priority Bicycles, and today we're going to install your new Priority front rack. Before we get started, it's important to know that we always recommend that your assemblies and installations be done by a professional bicycle mechanic. If you choose to assemble your front rack at home, we would recommend that a professional bicycle mechanic safety check your work before riding. Also, it's important to know that with any weight bearing accessory like a front rack, that it can loosen over time. And if it becomes loose, be really dangerous. So please be sure to check your front rack for tightness before each and every ride to ensure that you're safe. Now, let's get started. For today's build, we're gonna need a 10 millimeter open end wrench, a five millimeter Allen, and a four millimeter Allen. If your bicycle comes with a front headlight, you'll also need a two and a half millimeter Allen. Now let's open the box. Inside your box, you should find a kit with several bolts, washers, and nuts. And then inside the bag, you should find the front rack, bracket, and a bolt. Once you've laid everything out, you should have four cap head bolts, one long, one medium, and two short, one flat head bolt, two nuts, and you have six washers. Four have a large hole and two have a small hole. Two concave washers, a black cap, and a bracket. Now, before we start installing on the bike, let's go ahead and remove the bolt from each adjustable leg. Each adjustable leg has several positions in it. For most of our bikes, we're gonna go with the second position. So let's start there. Once you tighten, move to the other side and do the second hole position as well. Get it tight. Now, with the uh, backstop of the rack facing you, grab this mount and the flathead bolt. Stick the flathead bolt through the rack make sure that the single hole is pointing out. Use one washer. And one nut. And loosely tighten in a center position. Tighten the nut and bolt so that the threads are showing through the bolt. You'll use the five millimeter Allen and the 10 millimeter open end wrench. You'll want this flat part facing forward with the backstop. For now, center it. We'll come back later and give it a final tighten. Now we're gonna move to putting the rack on the bike. If you have a front light or front brake, we're gonna need to take it off first. All right, if you have a front light, you'll remove it with the nut and bolt using your five millimeter wrench and your 10 millimeter wrench. If you have a front brake, the process will be very similar other than you'll only use the 10 millimeter wrench on the rear. Keep all the hardware that you're moving as you'll need to use it later. If you have the front light, put it safely to the side. If your bike comes with bolts pre-installed on the fork legs, we're going to want to remove those now. If your bicycle has a plastic washer, you'll want to remove it now. Grab your rack, grab the longest bolt that comes with the rack, and thread it through. Now, if your bicycle comes with a front caliper brake, you can use the front caliper brake in place of this bolt. Throw one of the concave washers on and slide it through. It's important that you use the concave washer with the flat side pointing forward so that the bracket has maximum contact area. You can grab a second concave washer and put it on the fork. Then go ahead and get a washer and nut and tighten.
Ensure the bolt is fully engaged past the locking threads on the nut. Then we're gonna move on to the fork legs before we fully tighten down. Now, grab your two smaller bolts and your two smaller washers, thread them on, and one leg at a time, install the legs onto the fork. At this point, your basic rack assembly is done. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that it's level and then tighten every nut and bolt. When you tighten, especially with the locking nuts, it's important that you always use two wrenches at the same time. Go through, make sure the rack's level, everything is tight. Again, it's also important to make sure before every ride that your rack is tight. Now, if you have a front light, we're gonna start by reversing the bottom bracket using a two and a half millimeter wrench. Once your bracket's flipped around and tight, you'll see the bracket's now in the right spot for your headlight to point forward. Of the bolts you have left, grab the longer bolt. You can start it with a washer. Put it through the right side of the rack. Then, if you have the concave washer from your fender, you can install it onto the rack and then put the bracket through. Finally, put another washer and the locking nut on. After the threads of the bolt have fully engaged in the locking nut and tighten. Finally, there's a nice little rubber cap that you can put onto the extended threads of the bolt. If you have any questions, we're always here to help. Info at PriorityBicycles.com.